DoorDash is now offering COVID-19 tests. <laughs> hey, this is John from Ride Upstate. And if you're in a small market, this probably won't apply to you, but it will eventually. Through their DashMart platform, DoorDash is now offering COVID-19 tests in Baltimore, Minneapolis, Phoenix, and a couple of other major markets that they have. There'll be a link in uh, the description that shares those locations as well as the announcement. And they're doing this through their DashMart platform. Now, if you're not familiar with DashMart, this is something that they started back in August last year. And it's kind of like these ghost kitchens that you see. So it's a virtual convenience store. And they've partnered with 7-Eleven, CVS, Walgreens, and things like that. So that people can get convenience items, things that you would get in a convenience store. And now they are beginning to offer these COVID-19 tests that you get. You test yourself and you send them in. Now, I've used self-test kits myself that I get from LabCorp. They're covered by my insurance because I have to have a test every month for my day job. And I can tell you that I think it's pretty interesting that DoorDash is expanding into this in the midst of all of this with whether they have enough drivers or they don't have enough drivers. I think they're looking for new ways to make some profit. They've had some success with Walmart, despite the complaints that people are making, especially dashers about Walmart deliveries. They're trying to improve that. But I'll tell you this, that I have done CVS and Walgreens deliveries, and if it's only two or three items, it's generally not a bad gig. Because if somebody needs something, whether it's a medical supply or something like that, that's really helpful, or it's a prescription. That's really helpful to them because they might be home and sick. You drop it off at the door and off you go. Now with these COVID-19 tests, I don't know what the deal is here unless it's just kind of, hey, we're, we're offering it. They want to make some kind of splash in the news or something like that. It's not again, it's not being offered in very many markets right now. I think they're just testing it out because really if there's no interest in people getting at home COVID-19 tests, they don't want to roll this out to the whole nation to all of their markets and not have any demand for it because they'll have built the platform and everything and put everything in place and then that's a waste. So here's my question to you if you're on DoorDash. Do you do these, typically do these CVS and Walgreens deliveries? And how do you feel about these ghost kitchens and now these uh, basically ghost convenience stores that are up there, these virtual kitchens, these virtual convenience stores? Do you like that? I mean, you usually end up going to a restaurant that you're familiar with or a convenience store, that pharmacy that you're familiar with. What do you think about it? I'd like to hear from you. Uh, just leave me a comment below and I'd really appreciate it. That's all I got for this video. My name is John from Ride Up State, reminding you that just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.